This is the brand I prefer, and I'll tell you why. Right here, where it says Continuous Flash, I'll uh, open up the box and I'll show you what that means. This little feature here is what I really like. You can do a continuous flash like that, or you can just simply press if you're going to take a picture at a wedding, and that'll charge up the um, capacitor, okay? But if you do this, the capacitor will be continuously charged. And we're going to uh, see that once it's continuously charged, all right, trust me, we'll show you later where it's com completely um, continuously charged. But that's the feature I like right there. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tear open and the cardboard cover and get inside and show you what I'm going to do next. Well, there we are. That was about 15 minutes in, make, in the makings. What I did was I used little uh, pieces of, of the cardboard case to wedge in there so that the snaps wouldn't snap back together. And it's a really difficult thing prying it apart. Um, there's a the film. We don't need that. And this is the insides of the workings. And this is the insides where the film was. Like that. And so we took, took the film out. Now, here's the Here's the buddy that we want to work with right there. And in taking it apart, I zap myself. And I tell you what, I threw a screwdriver so far that uh, it may take me a long time to find it. But um, I just accidentally zapped myself. So, you know, please do be careful. Now what we're going to do is Here's that uh, piece that I was telling you about where you can pull this up and this will continuously connect and therefore this capacitor right here will continuously charge. And that's the reason I like this model uh, of uh, camera. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to solder some wires and we'll come back after we've finished that. Okay, we've drilled a number of holes, and uh, here is where the contacts are going to come out, right there, and right there. Then what I did was I drilled a hole right here in the middle, and I'm going to come off of these contacts right here go down through that hole and then I'm going to come through the cavity right here I'm going to send a wire out this way and then I'm going to send a wire out this way so that they will be coming out of these uh, these contacts right here and right here so let's get soldering. All right, let's see what we've done. Let's take off this top. Then we'll turn this around and we'll show you that we came off the two leads from the um, capacitor. Here's one. Here's another one went through that little hole that we drilled, went down into this cavity here, and then we soldered over to here from one side of the capacitor, over to here with the other side of the capacitor, and now when the capacitor is charged and you touch these two guys together, it'll zap you, okay? What we're going to do is show you um, why we're doing all of this. 
All right, so we got one more step. Okay, we're getting closer to the end here because these little cameras eat up batteries. And from my experience, I can put in the battery and keep it on charge. And 24 hours later, this battery's dead. So what I did was I took a charger or transformer, found one at the used Goodwill store for three amps. I'm sorry, three volts. As you can right there, you can see its input is 120 volts and the output is three volts. Well, this is a 1.5, so it'd be like having two of these in there, and I found that that seems to work. So what I did was I took, and you have to remember that the, um, the printed side of the wire is positive, and then the negative side has no print on it, so I put it over here on this side. And uh, now that means that I can save batteries and yet keep charging the capacitor. All right, I think we're getting very close. All right, the reason I went to all of this trouble is there is my bird feeder. And unfortunately, every morning I'd come out here after having filled up the previous day and it would be empty. So what I did was I took some wire and wound it around this pole and it took some wire and wound it around the bird feeder. My original design was that I took a, the, the, the two wires and wound them around barbershop wise and I was very concerned that if a bird landed on here, he gets zapped. And so by separating this wire and this wire, and then bringing them down to the back here, as you can see, one wire is connected to one pole, one wire is connected to another pole. And then the nice thing about the feature of this camera is that you have this you can press it once if you're taking, say, pictures at a wedding, or you can push it up and it'll continuously recharge the um, capacitor. And as you can see, the little capacitor is charged up. And then back here is where the battery used to be. And it comes around. So let me summarize here. I took one wire down, hooked it to one side. The right fact right here is the, the side I hooked it to. Okay. Then I took one wire down and hooked it to the bottom. And now what happens is when the squirrel is here, like that, and he reaches over to here, he'll ground these two wires out and get a very rude awakening that he shouldn't be eating you know my bird seed. I'm going to use this fly swat. As you can see the metal ends here and then this rest of this is plastic. So I'm going to hold the plastic, come over here, touch one side and then touch the other side. Man, that scares me every time it does that. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shut the camera off and wait for about two or three minutes. But here's some residual, residual um, charge. So I'm gonna wait two or three minutes and let that um, charge up again and we'll take another a shot at it. So here we're going to pause. I was going to wait um, five minutes or so, but here after two or three minutes, we're actually about three, I think. So let's try that again. Wow! Man, 
you know, here's 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 some residual. I guess it doesn't have any residual. Oops. Ooh. As you can see, it's charged, and then I brought it over to this, and this is a um, timer, and it goes on and off every 30 minutes, and the reason I did that is so that this little guy here wouldn't get so crazy hot, and um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to figure out how to do all of this and um, keep it waterproof.